franchise mode. So yeah, this is what we're doing right now. Uh, I'll show you. I made a little bit of moves on the uh, off camera on the roster. On the roster, I, m I made a little bit of moves. Our first starting pitcher is Jake Arrieta. If you didn't know, Jake Arrieta actually started in Baltimore, then went to the Cubs, and currently he's on the Phillies, but we actually got him on the Orioles. And we've got, and we've got Gosman, Bundy, yep, <laughs> and yep. So, right now, the uh, weakest part is our starting pitcher. So I was gonna do a little bit more when I got on camera, but we're already out of cap. Then we got Darren O'Day, Mark Givens. So yeah, we're doing good. We're, we're okay. And we got the closing pitcher. We got Brad Branch. I think we might get rid of Brad Branch, honestly. And then we've got Joseph as our catcher. Chris Davis as the first baseman, not too bad. We can do with that. We can definitely do with that. John Scope, pretty good second baseman. Third baseman, Mike Wasaskis. That's all right. So, we signed him. And then uh, Manny Machado as our shortstop. That'll be fun, that'll be great. Trey Mancini, he's pretty, he's pretty all right. Adam Jones, he's okay. And then yeah, well we've got Mark Trum, Trumbo as well. So, so um, could definitely do some more, and that's what we're gonna try to do today. We could try to get rid of Manny Machado, but I like Manny Machado. I think he's the team right now. I don't really want to get rid of him. I'll see. That's only 1.8 mil. Compared to the 3.5 mil we could get rid of. Yeah, but then we'd be losing a lot. Be, we'd be losing more talent, you know what I mean? Alright, so we're gonna, we're gonna sim a little bit with that. We're just gonna... All right, so we are, we've already simmed all the way past spring training. Now this, this is the first game of the series, and we're going to play it. I've decided that I'll play a few games, and, you know, we're going to have some fun with it. All games on this feature, feature we could, oh, we like, okay. okay. Out of fix out. Oh. Alright, here we go. We're gonna play the full game probably. Alright, see last year our record was 75 and 87. Not a great record. Didn't make the playoffs, but the Minnesota Twins, who are 85 and 77, last year's record, they didn't make the playoffs, but they didn't go far in the playoffs. So we're gonna, it's in Orioles Park, and we're gonna try to win today with our starting pitcher, Jake Arrieta. Do I really want him build bat and lead off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll let Manny Machado bat lead off for right now, and then we'll change the lineup so as we go throughout the games. I'm not saying I'm gonna play all the games, but I will play this game just because it is the first game of the series season in the series. See how much damage this Baltimore Orioles lineup. A little bit different, a little reamped, you know. I don't. Know. Next year is definitely gonna be the year where we change the coaching staff. It's gonna be the bigger year. So, zero zero, we're zero one zero. As the Orioles do have the worst record in the MLB in real life. So, that's why we're using them. If you guys didn't tune in there yesterday's like 20 minute stream. That's why. All right, we've got Jake Arietta. 
Alright, that was that was a great pitch. I haven't played so it's gonna be a while until I get back to the rhythm of things. God no Alright, that's alright, that's alright, that's alright. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, this is okay. We can recover from this. Yup. <gasps> what are you doing? Oh my gosh. I don't know how we made that happen, but hey, we got it. We got it. Alright, I think we're going to be back on track right now. Got to calm Arietta down a little bit. He's flustered that he already gave up a hit. Run, 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 run. Oh my gosh. That sinker did not sink at all. Alright. Here we go. Alright. Alright, he's battling right now, guys. Got him. Whoo, Arietta gets out of the inning unscathed after giving up the first hit. And now the O's are gonna get up there and we're gonna take the lead. Alright, Manny Machado is our leadoff man. Alright, we're getting killed right now. Oh my goodness. All right, the struck us out. These, the, oh my gosh, filthy, filthy. Dude, this guy's pitching filthy right now. There we go. Santana, freaking filthy, bro. But the O's get their first hit of the season right there, guys. Nothing pretty, just a little, just a little knock. Yeah, what that guy say, go Orioles. Alright, come on guys. We're, we can beat the Twins. Twins are one of those teams we get up to beat. They're not one of them top tier teams. I mean, they're not bad. Oh man, double play. They're not bad, but they're not good, that good either. So we should be able to beat them. Now, I don't really like pitching all that much, so. Fly out, line out, solo home run, single, fly out, ouch. Is we're now losing because I don't know. Area is not filling it today. I don't really know. But there you go, there you go, there you go. Yes. That's what I'm talking about.
Who's up to bat for us? All right, like our second best player. So if we don't score here, I mean, we're probably not gonna score. Oh my gosh, another double play. We just can't get anything going. This has been a rough game so far for us. Pitching wise, gave up a home run in the second inning. We already hit into two double plays that killed our that killed our chances to score. Santana is just freaking a beast throwing filthy pitches right now. We can barely make contact with. We got that. No. Shortstop got it. And that's three outs. We just haven't been able to match what they've been able to do. I don't know. I picked up Arietta thinking Arietta would be good. And then really he has a doll, oh, but right one, two, three inning right there. Trumbo doesn't do much. Rasmus gets a single. Joseph gets a single. I right, now with the main man, Manny Machado, who struck out, has a chance to tie this game up. Alright, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, let's do it. Alright, here we go. Coming in, trying to clutch this up for us. I don't know where that's going. Go. Yeah. One to one, baby. Manny Machado hits a double. <laughs> yes. Let's go, let's go, let's go, guys. One to one, and now we might actually be able to two to one right now. Take a lead, take a lead, run, run it out, run it out, make it, make it home, make it home. Yes, two to one. Yes, I love it. I love it, we're winning now. I could not see that ball. <laughs> Alright, come on, Trey Mancini. I can't see the ball, like, because the sky, or like, right there in like center field, the light's so bright, and the ball's white, and I just can't see it. I I'm making contact. I just can't see. I just can't see the ball. Like, the way it's coming in, I just can't see it. Got it. Ooh, the third. Alright, uh, had to be perfect throw. They got the perfect throw. And that's that. This, we do have the lead now. Oh, I spoke too soon. We had the lead. We had the lead. And then, home run. Gave it up. Oh, tie game. They have one more hit than us. Uh, it's just Arietta didn't do what I thought he would do. Ouch. Yeah, Arietta just did not have the type of game that we needed him to have. And Santana, freaking great game, honestly. If you know, you, you gotta get. Oh my gosh! But Chris Davis comes through, two run shot, four to two, and then Jones tries to extend the inning, but that's all. And now let's see. Come on, Jake. Come on, Arietta. Come on. All right, Arietta gets out of the inning. Pretty ugly game for Arietta so far, but they changed to Rudney. Rudney. 
and Machado homers off of him. Five to two. All right, we're going out. We're gonna bet for scoop, scope, scope rather. Five to two. We're winning by three right now. I still can't see. Go 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 go. Six to two. Walk, the bases are loaded. The bases are loaded now. Trumbo has had a pretty bad game. Let's see if Trumbo can come through for us. Alright, that, that was my bad. I, like I said, I can't really see because the lighting and stuff. I tried to swing, missed it, and uh, yeah, I'm sorry. All oh, right, towards the second baseman. Second baseman picks it up easily. Six to two. That's all right, though. Six to two. I was right, switching out our pitcher. I don't really like that. Okay, an error. A double play, though. And then we give up a slow, low home run. Six to three. The lead is dwindling. But Rasmus has had himself a game, man. Yeah, yeah. Machado grounds out. All right, so this is it. Putting in Zach Britton for the ground out, the fly out, and the ground out as the Orioles beat the Twins six to three. Let's go. One and zero. Oh. My Orioles are one and zero. Oh. I mean, Jake Arrieta had a decent game. Not good, not bad. He go, he went seven innings, gave up two runs. Britton came in, one and zero. I mean, Britton came in, said the game. Santana freaking was a beast, may I add. All right, now somebody that I don't think we'll be able to get, but. Personally, I want to get And you're right his name is Chris Archer huge Sally to uh, take on I get that like a lot that the Hey, but Bray he helps I mean I was up with Chris Archer, dude. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I just feel like he's a really good pitcher and we need pitching. So, I don't know. I figure he could help us. But they are definitely interested in making that deal. But I don't think I would be. I don't think I could make that deal. Getting away. Getting rid of our one of our best players. Tim Beckham <laughs> wasn't enough. It's almost enough. Rasmus, we kept him in the line. He was amazing last game. He pretty much saved the day last time, so I don't really want to take him out of the. But Trumbo was pretty bad. I, mean, I don't really know. Oh, yeah, but they are in St. Gosman, and we would be getting a huge upgrade, and uh, we, would, we are getting a huge upgrade here, so I think that would be the deal. Nah. Oh, yeah, and we, would, and we could be getting another one, too, that's pretty cheap to replace him. So we're getting two starting pitchers. We definitely have to get this. Alright, we trade, and now we have Chris freaking Archer, dude. That is absolutely phenomenal. Not to mention, not to mention, we also got Matt. He, he's a pitcher, so. Or 
All in all, I'm pretty happy with the way things are going right now. I think the team is overproducing. I think the team is doing better than what they should be doing. I would love to get you, but I can't oh, wait. <gasps> yes, we just got him. We just signed a catcher, a brand new catcher on the team, giving us a little bit more talent, a little more power. I don't know how well that's going to help us, but... Oh, I actually missed him that game. Oh my gosh, 12 to 1. Welcome everyone, a very happy Easter to you from all of us here at Inside the Show. Let's recap how Saturday's games played out. Starting in the AL East, the Orioles combined to give up just five hits as they grabbed a win over the visiting Twins, 12 to 1. In other Orioles news, the team has completed a trade and have acquired starting pitcher Chris Archer and starting pitcher Matt Andrews from the Tampa Bay Rays. In return, Tampa gets closer Brad Brock and two additional players. Wow, okay, so. Ten hits as a team as they took down the Rays in St. Petersburg, 7 to 6. The Yankees swatted four home runs in this one as they blew out the Jays, 6 to nothing. The Tigers allowed only five. Well, that's lucky. Standing first in the ALE East with a good average and a good ERA. So far, the new or the new look Orioles have been doing pretty good. Oh, Archer, Archer's already pitched. <gasps> Archer pitched for the Rays. He's already winning on the season. Ah uh ha. -huh. Oh yeah, we'll put him on there. Oh, I mean, we're 2-0, so I mean, I can't really complain. As we're, as we're gonna pitch Andrew Kashner. Hopefully he does pretty good. I mean, I forgot that, you know, he probably already pitched for the... F yeah, I thought he already flip flop and pitch for the Rays, but, yeah, but he's 1-0 still, so I mean... All right, here we go. We already won the series, so it doesn't really matter to me as long as we win the series. Now I'd rather sweep the Twins, yes. All right, strike out. Great job. Great job. All right, come on, Manny. You've got to produce more. You, you. Wow, Beckham really wants that con to get paid more. All right, go play ball. Good job, good job. All right, all in all, great so far. All right, slow down, buddy. There we go. Rasmus has done pretty good for us. Machado wakes up with a solo home run to give us a two nothing zip, two to zip lead. All right. Here we go. Double play. But Kashner gets out of the inning. See, we're just overperforming, I think. All of these players that are doing good shouldn't be doing good. As we just scored. Now it's three to nothing. All right, give up a double, and then ground out, and then we give up a triple, and then ground out, and then we strike out. I mean, Kashner shouldn't be doing as good. The bases are not loaded. All right, Kashner saving us from going to the bullpen right now, as he's going pretty late in this game. Machado with another solo home run in this game. Five to one. All right, Cashman gives up a double to strike somebody out. Then a strikeout from Givens, and then a single that scores one from Maurer, and then we get out of the inning. 
and then all Rosmus keeps the lives with a single but that ends the inning and now Britain's coming in ooh he walks somebody then he gives up a double Britain does seal the deal five to three struggled a little bit but he still got it done not the best closer but he still saves the day five to three the Orioles take the win Manny Machado is the player of the game with the two home solo home runs he hit to lift us to the win well I didn't really tell you to do that thought I turned that off yesterday but apparently not all right now we're As yes, we got that fixed now, we can go to contracts, coach contracts. Yeah, we're not gonna keep any of these guys. We're trading all of them. Or not trading, but we're gonna fire all of them and get new ones. But anyways, we we are gonna have a great season this year. As Jack Arrieta is gonna face off against the Astros, who are four and zero. And it's in Houston. The 4 0. They are the reigning defending champs. So. This is going to be fun. See what's going on. Actually, you know, Arietta's kind of. You know, he doesn't have that much energy. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pitch Bundy instead. Honestly, play chance. See how chance does. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna give chance a chance to start. See what's gonna go on. Cause we are playing the Astros, who did win the World Series last year, and they are defending the crown well so far. As they are four and zero, but we are three and zero, looking to go four and zero against them. Someone's gotta lose. Someone's gotta lose their winning streak it's not gonna be us yeah I trust in us that we are going to win here us and the overperforming Orioles who are 3-0 but we're winning don't even fret boom single double one nothing already. Alright, strike out. Ground out. Strike out. Hey man. Alright, alright, come on, Bundy. I put no, I put you in this game for a reason. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Rasmus. Alright, come on, chance. This is your chance. That's alright. That's alright, chance. You'll get it next time, bud. It's alright. Oh yeah, there it is. Come on, scope. Let's go. We're walking all over the Astros, baby. Come on, Chance. Yes! Chance it's a single. Oh, and a triple for Manny Machado. A ground out in the lineup but still five to nothing right now whoa whoa <laughs> now it's five to four all right we're switching in Matt we're putting Matt in Matt's had a tough go but Matt gets out the inning unscathed Chance strikes out. Machado. This is five to five after having a five to nothing lead. You blow it. 
I don't know how we did that. Three strikeouts in a row. They're hot. We're putting in Gibbons. Gibbons is going to give us the lead. Well, gosh dang it. Come on, Gibbons. All right. What inning is this? I think it's the ninth. Joe Smith's coming in. So it's five to five. Chance. I put Chance in this game for a freaking reason. And he's gonna prove me right. He's gonna prove me right. Okay. Chance, you might have got under that one. That's alright, Chance. Machado, Homer, put us ahead for six to five, please, my dude. Please, please be my hero. Be my hero. Okay, no, no, no. Get there, get there. Yeah, all right, a double. That's nice. All right, good. Good double. That's a good double. All right, here we go. This is undefeated streaks are on the line right now for both teams. No. Go, Machado. What are you doing? No, Machado, go back. No, Machado. No. All right, here we go. All right, all right, let's try to get out of this inning, guys. Whew. All right, let's go. Cause that's a two way, right? Parts ready. Come on. Come on, be my heart. Be my heart. There it is, boys. We've got this. Oh, jeez. Ha huh, boy. I'll two way you ain't you ain't saving the day. Not this time. Not this time. Got him. Got him. All right, one more, one more strike until we get a hit again. Gas. This is. Ah, come on. The gas. All right, we got him. It's time to go and it's time to end this game. We had him down 5 nothing. Pitching blew it for us, may I add. Please, please! Angle made it look like it was gonna go. Alright, Chris Davis is trash, apparently. Boston destroyed Miami, if you can see it down there on the bottom of your screen. 5 to 5. 
We are going punch to punch, tip for tap for tap. Let's go! Six to five. I just called him trash, and he just gave us the lead. Oh, let's go, pads on! Chance strikes are god damn it, chance. Alright, Britain's coming in to seal the deal. And he does it as the Orioles. As the Orioles take the win home. After being up 5 nothing, they give up five, t 5 unanswered runs. Then they answer back with 2 runs that the Astros cannot answer. 7 2 5. What a great game. 7 to 5. Back to back solo shots gave the Orioles just enough to save the game. Wow, the Astros have to be hurt after that. Alright, I'm going to go look for something real quick, guys. Actually, before I do anything, I go to this roster. Cause I thought we signed a catcher, didn't we? Yeah, freaking LaCroix is a 77 overall. And yet, freaking... We're going to we're gonna take you off our 40, man. Yeah, there we go. We're removed from 40, man. Move down to double A. Let's get added to the 40, man roster. Up to MLB, and now we're gonna have a 81 for all catcher that might help just a little bit. <laughs> but anyways, but anyways, back to what I was gonna say. I was gonna do. So see how. All right, so he's an 85, right? I'm just saying, and he's what like. So 3.5 million. That's fairly cheap and all. Hmm. I'm gonna say I could get this guy. It's cheaper. I get Osuna, who's uh, cheaper. Oh, actually, he's not cheaper. I'm dumb. I think I'm gonna keep him honestly though, unless this guy's cheaper. He's actually is cheaper, but he's a bit older. To be fair, he's older, but he's an 88 overall. He's only older, but. And they're definitely interested in making the deal straight up. So we're cutting cap, and we're getting a better player. She, I don't know though. Can I get Albert Pose with the deal too? We get an old washed up first baseman in the deal. 1.7. Can I get Sack Cozart too? Just kidding, we always they all need Sack Cozart. If I can like adjust an option, that'd be cool. They're Mike Trout. <gasps> They're definitely interested in making this deal. And I'm just getting rid of one player. And I'm getting three players. Do I need a right fielder though? Yeah, actually, I kind of do. Let's make it go through. So that was a b -b -b banger of a deal. Parker, Parker's here. Parker, first baseman as Pujols is on the team as well now. Just I don't know why. Just I don't, I don't know. I honestly can't answer why I got on the team. But now we've got a bit of a better guy. Actually, you know what? I'm honestly gonna remove you from the 40 man. We're gonna move you to MLB, my dude. 
Alright, we're gonna edit it for you, man. Let me read it at MLB. Wait, what? What the hell? Well, apparently, I can't. Whatever. Alright, anyways. The four and no Orioles. Anyways. Here we go. It's for four and oh. I mean, we barely were able to win that game last time. I mean, it's time for Archer to pitch again. Or actually, this will be the first time Archer pitches. For us. I mean, Archer has already won a game for the race. Man, you're welcome, race. Just saying. Haha. <laughs> So yeah, having some fun guys. Tuesday night baseball now from Tuesday Albany night baseball. For Houston in this one. Dan Pleasak, what do you got? Hey, you always like to begin the season on a good note. In his first start of the year, he did just that, picking up the win. There's nothing he'd like to do more than to get number two in this one here. Here's Manny Machado now. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Manny Machado. Play ball. Play ball. All right, sorry about that. Now we're back. Strike out. Fly out. Strike out. All right, let's see. Come on, Chris Archer. I got you for a reason. Prove it to me. Whew. All right, so. Archer gets out to a rocky start, am I right? Single, strike out, ground out. Single, fly out, single, please, something. Wait, has he already got eight strikeouts this game? Nah, it's impossible, that's impossible. Alright, we're going all the way to the 8th inning. Oh, we might score in this inning? No. Well, the Astros are going to be a tough team, so, I mean, if we lose here, I wouldn't be surprised. We've got, we've already, we do have the lead right now. Archer's just not having that great of a game. Alright, we've got two run lead currently. Doesn't mean we will have it. Alright, so we, now we've got a three run lead because of Rasmus. Alright. Here we go, guys. It's gut check time, baby. Oh my god, yes, that's why I signed you. And now, Parker, the new. Closing pitcher. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? Rip me. 
rip me. I said rip my, rip me, rip my team. I, I, I just went and got you out of my way. And you're, act, you're actually trash. I mean, you give it three runs. I said if we lose because of you. Because you freaking suck at pitching. I'll be a little upset about at myself. Because, you know, we had our fifth win in a row right there. And then you had to come in here and pitch bad. I mean, it was a, it's, a, it's, it's the Astros, so. All right, come on, Machado. <laughs> Solo shot, give us the win in 10 again. Honestly. Yo, there we go. Five to four. Let's go, Orioles. The Orioles are over before. I'm telling you. Apparently, we have power. Oh, this is an interesting choice on my part. We're getting Trey out of there. We're gonna pitch it. We're gonna put our pulse in there. Can he hit a home run here? That's that's the only reason why we put him in here. I just want Pujols to hit a home run here. That proved that. Yeah, prove to me why I got you. <gasps> he got a single. That's why I got him. He's got zero speed, but he's he made it. He made it. Let's go. Albert Pujols made it. He's an old man. He's a crippley old man, but he made it. Thank you, Pujols. That's all I can say. Go, 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 go. Yes, yes. The Orioles are fighting because poor holes let us. Wow. We are having a battle with the Astros again. Again, man. Same game in a row we, we've had to go to extras. Yeah, we, we can't. I said we can't run to poor holes. There's no way it pulls the zero speed in this game, which is kind of ridiculous. And no, popped him up. Five to four though. All right, Ken. All right, we're putting in Richard. Come on, Richard, please. Richard, please. Richard, please. Richard, please. Whew. Thank you, Richard. Richard gets his first save of the season because he's not supposed to be doing save position. But whatever. Colby Rasmus actually comes through and does good. It's not used to doing good anymore. God, my TV's so loud. You guys have probably been hearing that through my microphone all game. Great. That's whatever. So, two back-to-back -back close wins with, against the Astros. Which is pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. And we finally take our first loss. Let's look at the box score. In the ninth inning, we get our five runs. Are you kidding me? Let's jump right into Wednesday's baseball action. Looking first at the American League East, the Astros combined for 54.0 ERA. Are you fucking serious, bro? 
In other Orioles news, third baseman Bruce. Oh no, things are falling apart. Happy Friday, baseball fans. Oh, but we won. We we took it up. We took it up. That's okay. That's okay. All right, come on, Archer. I brought you here for a reason. Hooey. The Orioles. All right, now we're gonna send the rest of the season. Hope, hope we get. Like, oh, the Nationals are trying to trade for our. Uh, they want Adam Jones. Who's Adam Jones? All right, so you want our starting center fielder for a uh, decent starting pitcher. Huh. That's interesting. Well, you know what? Get yourself a deal. Because, you know, you're saving me money. Not only are you saving me money, you're giving me a better picture than what I have. Not only that, my friend, now I can go to a thing we call the trip block. Would you, could you imagine if we could actually... Alright, let's get Billy Hamilton. Because he's a center fielder and we need a center fielder. So we just got rid of our center fielder. Hardar, hardar, hardar. Billy Hamilton's worth a lot of dough. Tim Beckham, Tim Beckham. I don't really know. I just would just be rocking with trash people. I don't really know. I don't have enough money. If we can beat the teams that we should beat, we we should be able to make the postseason. I say that and we start losing the teams that are really bad. <laughs> I don't really know. We we're doing okay. All right, will we make the playoffs? My prediction is no. My prediction is if we fall short. So they're gonna give us a center fielder. It's probably trash. Let me look. Yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to climb that tree. My prediction is not, I just don't think we have the team. I think we're going to fall apart. And there it is, we're starting to fall apart already. I think we're going to fall apart and we're going to miss the playoffs. I don't think we have a good enough team. Now we may go, you know, 500. You know, because we didn't go 500 last season. No, we might actually go 500 or above 500 this season. Or like a game or two below 500. But as you see, we are falling apart. 52 and 52. And we're just battling right there on... Yeah, we are. That's just... That's the only thing you say is we're battling right now. It's the only thing you say about the Brewers is they're battling. That's what any commentator would tell you right now, that they're battling right now. They're trying to do good. They're trying to make the postseason. They're trying to push for it, but they just don't have enough to make it. As they're falling apart, they're pushing, and now we're push pushing again. We're starting to win. But it's not enough. We just don't have enough to make it. As we were below 500. How close were we? How close were we? Not even close. <sighs> Disappointment. The Houston Astros racked up 11 hits as a team as they defeated the visiting Angels 5 to 4. Entering the day's action, the Astros have now clinched one of two AL. As the Cubs freaking make it. 
Welcome to the show, baseball fans. Here's the what Cubs make baseball it. Baseball world on this October morning. In the National League wild card game, the Chicago Cubs went deep. Oh. <laughs> the boss are made of socks, mate. I know we're going to send the whole offseason. Or the post is the Yankees beat the Cubs. All right, here we go. This will be the end of the stream right here, guys. I mean, not much you can do as we... I mean, we, we are a decent team. We're, we're growing. We can say that. We're growing. And now that that's over, a few retired players. A lot of pitching retired players for us. But Pujols actually stayed. Pujols that retired, I think. I didn't see. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> yeah, we 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 yeah we need we need to sign you. You are the face of the Orioles, dude. You can't leave. Yeah, you can't do this, bro. Yeah, you can't, bro. Just don't. Look at that, fully interested in that. I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I wanna sign him too. We will be getting top tier coaching staff this year. Right now, as we are going to fire you, fire you, fire you, fire you, fire you. Everybody is fired. It's time to make the Baltimore Orioles great again. So we're gonna sign you. I mean, obviously, you are the best that we can get. But after this, after we get to the next spring training, then we're gonna end the season, guys, or end the series. But not end. The we're going to stop this episode of the series because it's going on about an hour I had a lot of fun with this we were definitely coming back next season for I mean tomorrow or later tonight maybe if I'm just feeling it tonight definitely coming back with a stream not gonna guarantee it will be MLB related but I have a plan of something that I'm not gonna spoil all right there's our pitching coach first base coach hey there it is that's our guy Fritoy Gonzalez Uh, who's our guy for the third base coach? Who's our guy? You're our guy. So I'm talking about. Well, that's what I'm talking about. We're just trying to get a better coaching staff. And maybe we'll do better because of a good pit coaching staff, honestly. You know what I'm saying? good coaching staff maybe we'll win the World Series I don't really know I just you know I like to think Manny Machado says fuck you I'm not signing some staff they're not signing with us which kind of sucks I I really really needed to sign here dude. Machado, you are my you are you are the Orioles right now. You are my face. You are that's why I didn't trade you away. I wanted you to be my face. I wanted you to be the face of my team. I mean that it's just simple as that. 
Bro, I wanted you to be my team. I wanted you to be my team. <gasps> he actually accepted. He heard me pleading, and he accepts. My dude, my man, my mo, my man, my man. Uh, we're gonna offer you a contract, my bruh. Please accept. Third base. All right. Yeah, I already offered you. You should become a farm director. Who's my farm director? Paul Quiak. Paul Quiak. Alright, here we go, let's refuse them. We've got everybody but our farm director. Farm director has not accepted the contract yet. Hey bro, look. I like you. I think you're gonna make a good farm director. Please. Look at this offer. Oh, that's pretty trash. So, anyways, offer some contracts. Come on, buddies. You know you want to sign, buddies. Anyways, free agency. See, I can never really get anybody in free agency. I've never been able to sign anybody for agency. So, you know, I don't really know what to do for agency. So, we're going to go to starting pitchers and we're going to. Uh, yeah, we're, we're just going to. I don't really. I'm not really interested in signing anybody, honestly. I mean, honestly. I mean, honestly, center field is our worst position. So... We could try to get Charlie Blackman. No, he would be the type of guy that I'd be interested in trying to get. Honestly. He'd be the only guy I'd be... Oh, no, we don't have enough contracts but guess what guys just to make it a bit even for us since we did come into a team that was struggling I was going to spend a thousand stubs to get four more mil giving us a bit more of a chance to succeed but still how I just I just added I just added a crap ton of cash. Well, really, I can I can make that offer. To, whoa! Uh, we just don't have the money right now. Yeah, we don't have the money. I'm sorry. Is it too late to say I'm sorry? I miss him more than just your body. Well, fuck. I really wanted a freaking center fielder. Please. Gosh darn it. I think it pains me to do this. It absolutely pains me to do this. Guys, I'm sorry. This is what's gonna have to happen. Ah, 
I like the team. I like the way it is. We've got a free some cap room. So what we're going to do. What we're going to do guys. So what I want to do. Play Mr. Necessary. He's a 93 already. I don't want to trade my dude away. He's my dude. I want to keep him on the team, but, you know, I hate to do it, but the 93 overall, Manny Machado, has to, just kidding, we're going to get rid of somebody else. Kashner, you're 2.2 mil, bro, you are worth a lot of money, we're trading you. Rosado, you're not worth a lot. Trying to find people who are worth a lot of mo oh my gosh, my bullpen is trash. No, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. Oh my gosh, fucking. Overpool, 69. Oh, right. he, he's on the waivers. Some weird reason. I don't know why he's on the waivers. Alright, so something like that would put us above. How much are you? 9.0 million. Boy, he's just... He's part of the team. I can't trade him now. I mean, sure, he's worth 9 mil, but he's part of the team, you know? Without him, we might not win the World Series this season. You know, we're going to do that. <laughs> Oof. I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying not to be too risky or nothing, but this is how we have to make things work. Things have to go. Here they have to go. They're they're definitely interested in the trade of Jackie Bradley. That's a center fielder. I mean, we need a center fielder. But they don't have a third baseman that we need, and we definitely need to get a third baseman after this. But do we really want Jackie Bradley? Well, we could probably get somebody better. I. How about we look, we'll look around. We'll see who everybody else has. Billy, we tried to get Billy last year and we couldn't get him. But, it's an 85 overall now. And he's with the onions. The onions. He's with the onions. He is with the onions. Jose, go ahead and add Jose in, in, into the mix. <laughs> Dude, this honestly isn't that far from going through. Honestly. Um, I don't really know what you guys need though. Where field first base. That's not enough. They don't like you either. Do they like coal? They don't like coal. We didn't like Albert Paul. <laughs> but yeah, no, I just I, I I was I was lolling anyways. I didn't actually want Jose Ramirez. I was just playing. I didn't actually mean it. I mean it would it would be cool to get him. Oh, bro. Hey, yeah. right, I'm a Cubs fan, so we're gonna get rid of Jose Ramirez, and we're gonna try to get somebody real cool. The devil ain't interested in making that deal. Cute. We just got ourselves Billy Hamilton, but now third base is weak as fuck. Oh, anyways, 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 any hoosers. Let's see how much cap hit this guy has. Nyong, nyong, nyong. 9.5 mil. Okay, we definitely can't take it all. We definitely can't take on the contract right now. That's just way too much. We take on we take on Suarez though, and Suarez ain't too much worse than uh oh boy Mike Mustauskas. Okay, yeah, that that that's cool. Definitely. Is that all you guys want? We can get rid of Rasmus. I can just drop him off on you guys. Because he's a pretty big cap hit. Honestly, I wouldn't mind doing that. 
I was trying to get rid of Cat. Shaven Cap will wall. Oh, making the team betting. I'm sorry, Manny. You, you gotta go, man. You're 20. 28.0 mil. Oh, imagine. Imagine how much cap we would have. It'd be great, but he's one of our best players. So we're definitely not trading him away. Now, the starting, the rotation looks pretty decent. Low key. But yeah, low key. The roadie this year. But the bullpen is ass. I, 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 this is the guy I want. I'm definitely gonna try to get him at any cost. They're definitely interested in making that go through. But then that's gonna open a hole at the catcher position. I'm definitely making that go through, guys. No, you might be thinking to yourself, what are you going to do now? You know, you might be thinking, what are you going to do now? Where, where, where's your, where's your, uh, where's the catcher now? And I'm like, well, I don't have one. But who needs catchers? Do you know what I'm saying? Who needs catchers? I don't need catchers. I wonder how much it actually is going to cost us to bring this guy in. Like I said, I'm a huge Cubs fan. So, I think it's going to be a lot. But he's really, really cheap. But he's got to take for, he's got to take a lot, a lot, a lot to bring in. Which is disgusting. Yeah, I think it's just going to be too disgustingly hard to get him. I would love to, but I can't. But I do need to get a catcher at some point. By some point, I mean now. Chris Davis is kind of trash, but he's our first baseman. At this point, I can't really trade anything away. It's too good, to be honest. Alright, so everything's set, right? Oh, I think, I think, you know, honestly, everything should be decently f uh, good. Free agents. Yeah, I mean, we'll just sim a little bit. Well, actually, I guess we can check the trade part. Oh, there are people on the trade block already. Yeah, boy. Thankfully. Already on the trade block. Looking around. I see a right fielder. His name's. John Carlo Washington, pretty cool, pretty good, pretty good player, pretty good player. I like it online. I'm looking at him. I'm also looking at Nelson Cruz, but Nelson Cruz is 38. So, the guy that I'm thinking about getting right now, either you or you, but definitely you. Just because you're cheaper. I don't, I don't really want to sound like cheapskate, I think, but you're cheaper. And you're the same. Okay, so now I can literally throw in anything and you're accepted. Yeah, actually, I'm going to throw you in. And so we just got ourselves a catcher, which we uh, got rid of earlier, so we needed the catcher. So that's cool, honestly. Now we need, we don't really need a right fielder, but I want, oh no, never mind, never mind, never mind, I don't want that. But, I thought, okay, it's not a Marte's contract, it's pretty tame. 
She don't need, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I think I need to be putting it towards a relief pitchers. You're right. You're, you're definitely right. I do need to be getting better relief pitching. You're right. I'm sorry about being stupid. I mean, relief pitching is something that we struggle with. We struggled with last year. Not only did we struggle with it last year, this year our bullpen weakened up a lot. So I'm not gonna lie, we, we, we definitely need this. I definitely wanna bring this guy in, but to kinda stall, to kinda, to make it hard, but I got it done. Too much of being honorary with me. But we got it done. We got the relief pitcher. And I think we're going to go try get two more relief pitchers here. And plus we did open some cap and money. And we kind of did that while we did all these trades. Which is actually really cool. That we uh, did all that. Right fielder. Alright, so now gotta go we gotta trade some cap away. So you gotta be smart with the trades. You wanna get try to get rid of as much cap as possible. But I'm glad I did come and look at the uh, trade bot because there's some pretty good stuff here. That we probably couldn't have got anywhere else. Oh, no, don't even. An injury situation, they're saying. They're claiming it's an injury situation. Anyone that happens is... Uh, I thought said it should be good though, honestly. Uh, and they just want more. <gasps> no! Don't be like that. <gasps> Don't be like that. Boy, I hate this game sometimes. Alright, we're cool. Relief pitching's looking a, a lot better now. As we have 380 overalls and 270s. I like the look of things. Let's get a win. If we lose, uh, the stream's out. The stream's over, guys. I'm sorry. All right, one and one. It's four gamers, so two and one. Alright, this is it guys. This is where we're going to start tomorrow. We all have to be Sunday three and one or two and two. And we're three and run. One after losing the first game of the season. We come back, win three in a row. Hey there, I'll show you a bit of Justin stats. So Chris Archer down. loses the game. The Actually, the let's look look and make sure that Chris Archer lost. Those the other pitchers. All right, so Chris Archer gave up two hits, one on three runs, more like, yeah, okay, so. That was a Chris Archer, so. This one who pitched in this game. Who pitched in this game, who pitched in this game. Arietta. Oh, who is the starting pitcher who won us this game? In the standings, the Warwick, which I made a trade with the uh, Nationals, I do believe, and it was a good trade for us. This it actually helped us win that game right there. Oh no, teams look pretty mighty good right now. As Bundy came and he got the win. And now, with Yanoa, I don't really know how to say his name, on the mound for us tomorrow. Maybe later tonight, I don't know. Have a wonderful rest of your days, guys. 
I hope you enjoyed the stream and I hope you will have a wonderful day.